Hello guys, this is the continuation of our course series Public Economics and this is Unit 2 Market Failure and Government Failures. In this video, we will see market efficiency, market failure and some of the causes of market failure. So let's start market efficiency. What it means by efficiency? So efficiency means in terms of the concept of welfare, how we are able to achieve the maximum welfare. Welfare uh, as you might have seen in the macroeconomics part, welfare for the society. If this is the supply curve and this is the demand curve and there is the equilibrium. So this part belongs to the consumer surplus and uh, this part belongs to the producer surplus. So this total area consumer surplus plus producer surplus becomes the welfare to the society in a competitive market economy. And efficiency means uh, there is no further possible way to increase either consumer surplus or producer surplus without re reducing the other surplus like uh, there is no possible way to increase consumer surplus without uh, reducing the producer surplus or vice versa so we will understand this through this graph uh, this on x-axis quantity on y-axis there is the price this is the demand curve willingness to pay and this is the supply curve marginal cost so all this area b t a area this is the total welfare to the society because in this area uh, what is the cost to society to produce these uh, uh, these Q star goods, the cost to society is O A T Q star O. This is the area. Uh, this area belongs to the cost uh, to society to produce these Q star goods. And what is the willingness or benefits to society from these goods? Is this area O B T Q star? That means the difference between benefits minus cost is the welfare to the society so what are the causes for market failure why market is not able to achieve the maximum welfare so, so first is the externalities you know what is externality externality if one individual is not directly uh, involved in production or in consumption but still he is getting affected positively or negatively Examples of uh, production activity negative externality are pollution and soil degradation and positive externality is beekeeping because they help the farmers to get better crop even though farmers was not directly involved in the beekeeping and consumption negative externalities are smoking and positive externality example is vaccination because they help to restrict the spread of disease in the society we will see negative products and externality through this graph on this this is the demand curve willingness to pay and this is the supply curve this is the private marginal cost and this is the social mar marginal cost social marginal cost is somewhat higher to private marginal cost because there is negative externality associated with this production that means uh, the in the private market the equilibrium is q star at this t point and uh, on but for the society point of view equilibrium quantity should be q e that is there but the difference between q star minus q e is the output a private individual private market is producing so on this output here the cost to society is higher than benefits to the society benefits curve is lower and the cost is higher so that means this is the loss this area r s t area is the welfare loss to the society this is the negative welfare we are producing here so r s t is the welfare loss to the society next is the positive consumption externality this is the demand curve willingness to pay of a private market and this is the benefits to the society marginal benefits to society uh, because this is the positive externality here so for the society point of view 
the benefits are somewhat extra than the individual is getting or assuming. In the private market, equilibrium quantity is Q star, but for the society point of view, QE is the equilibrium quantity. So for this quantity difference, QE minus Q star, here the cost to society, cost to society is this, cost to society is below than the benefits to the society. That means benefits were greater than, benefits were greater than cost to society. That means we are losing the welfare here. Equilibrium quantity should be Q star. So government should intervene in both the cases and make the equilibrium at the society's desired equilibrium level. In the negative production externality, government can impose taxes. And for the positive consumption externality, government can give subsidies and lift this shift this demand curve to the upward okay guys see you in the next video with the imperfect competition and other causes for market failure